You want to give us an update? Noah's Ark update. Uh, the it's the rain has begun, 40 days to go. <laughs> just after 4 o'clock on, uh, what, Tuesday? Yesterday, just after 4 o'clock, which was Monday, um, let's something, just, something let's just... transpired outside. Let's walk out there and take a look. As you can see, there's plenty of water coming in, which just had a flat or nearly flat roof. Seth's taking the, the doorway. I'll take the window. Which, that building is looking real nice. That was a portion of the pool building that we saved. This, however, not good. You have to speak up. We don't have any microphone equipment. We lost our roof, the whole roof. So we opened up the east side, put some holes in the metal. We anchored the west side, um, anticipating something like this might happen. And it, unfortunately it did. Um, we got a, a must have been like a micro burst yesterday, lifted the roof right off, landed it in the parking lot. We're very thankful that nobody got hurt, didn't land on the uh, state route out here, didn't hit any vehicles, didn't hit our office trailer. Um, Which our office trailer has been moved. It was over here. We'll walk around and take a look. Yeah, thank God, vacated building. Um, Sean was over here in that building, but uh, could have been much worse if it would have contacted person or obviously if a vehicle was parked here or that office trailer so we now have Green the big john power. deere 7800 out making an attempt to drag the roof around behind the building so we can demo it burn it do whatever right now it's causing a lot of gawking on the state route a lot of people are swinging in they're taking videos they're taking pictures um, and we're just going to get it out of here so we're going to get it out back we're going to get it broke down uh, maybe refurb some of it but just working at getting it cleaned up at this point what it does do is it now makes us ponder if we need to make a pivot because the, the roof that is now of no value laying there was on top of this building. So it's either gonna need a re-roof or we're going to be forced to take down what is nearly the last remaining piece of this barn, which we intended to keep. That 40 by 73 portion of it was gonna be for warehousing. We were gonna put an additional 40 feet on the back here that would have fulfillment and corporate offices in it. So we did keep this pool building on the south end there like we promised. Um, it's now been resurfaced with some uh, new metal, new roof. <clears throat> so now we just don't know if the juice is worth the squeeze on this portion. But yeah, thank God this pole right here, we had our office trailer that's over here. Where we've been doing our podcast parked right here. And this pole, which was on the end of the building right here for the electrical, literally poked up and kept the roof from falling onto the office trailer would have crushed the end of it taken out all of our media equipment let's see if this john deere can pull this roof um, i know there's a lot of guys that probably say if it was red it would pull it but let's see if the green and yellow if it won't do pull it. it i'll just go get my chevy i hope that comes to it
down. Oh no, he's getting that John Deere dirty. Oh, well, that's got this fish here. Just remember, there's a hole right there. <laughs> he's about ready to drive it into the hole. We're getting it, Phil. Inch by inch, it's a cinch. Well, that's a wrap. Got it moved around behind the building so that way we don't get any gawkers. Now we just gotta get it cleaned up, put in a dumpster. Nobody got hurt except for a little finger cut and that's all that really matters.